What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from Shimon.com. Jeff, we are doing fails of the week. Today, we are doing a fails of the week character fail. Or uh, fail? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. All right, start with that. Fails is a... F oh, shit. Hey, what's up, What's everybody? up, everybody? It's Jackie and Jeff from Machima.com. Jeff, we're doing five facts today. We're doing five facts on Trevor in GTA Five. Never heard of him. He is a character in GTA Five. Yeah. He is the second character you play as. A third character you play as. There you go. Right? He you is start, the you third start, character. And technically, you well, play into the game a little bit before you get I to I mean, him. I guess in the prequel, you uh, play yeah. him. If you count North Yankton, I guess. I think. You, you, well, you don't... Yeah, 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 you, yeah do, you, you do. You do. Because you go nuts there at the end. So. Yeah. But then, then eventually play Michael and then Franklin. And then back to Trevor. You, start you play Franklin north. first, then Michael. So uh, he's in GTA 5. He's also in GTA Online. You can play some of his missions there. Yeah. We got five facts about this dude. I am excited. Let's start number one. Originally, Trevor had a backstory that implied that he grew up in rural American backwoods. He wouldn't have guessed it. However, when Canadian actor Steve Ogg was cast to play Trevor, his backstory was changed to fit his Canadian accent. That dude was in... Uh, uh, he was in, uh, in, uh, in Better, uh, Call, Better Saul. Call Saul. Yeah. yeah. Mike... Beat the shit out of him. <laughs> he punched him in the throat. I hope that wasn't a fact. Uh, it's probably. Let's see here. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. All right, cool. Yeah, so you should absolutely absolutely watch Better Call Saul. And uh, number two, in several interviews conducted shortly after the game's release, Og mentioned that Tom Hardy's portrayal of Charles Bronson in the 2008 film Bronson was a big inspiration during his preparation for the role of Trevor. You know what I'm glad Have about? Have seen that movie? Mm -mm. It's pretty awesome. I'm glad that my last name isn't Og. Og? Og. Og. What a shitty nickname. That sounds like a character from Men in Black. Or like Labyrinth. <laughs> like you gotta go get the key from oh, Log. To, I thought you meant a last name like Labyrinth. I'm like that'd actually be a cool no. last name. What's up? It's I'm like, Johnny Labyrinth. You have really? to survive. You have to traverse the swamp <laughs> to get the magic key from Og. Oh, Hoggle. <laughs> All right, number three. While performing motion capture with other actors, Og would constantly make changes to Trevor's scripted actions to make them more outrageous. Often double checking with the other actors around him for comfort, Og would up the violence and craziness to truly embody his character. Uh, for instance, one scene Trevor is supposed to shove a character to the floor from behind, and August decided it would be better to shove them down by the face. All right, Ooh, there you go. Ouch. Sounds like an asshole. I like the uh, the character who played the uh, the the insane clown posse dude. What, what was his name? <laughs> How would I know? Have you not played the story at all? Oh, the insane clown posse dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. You're yeah. talking about the insane clown posse. Yeah. In Oh, Come man. For Juggle, uh, was it Magic Circus? or what was, I don't know. Whatever. Let's get away from this. Number the four. Dark Carnival. Dark Carnival. Number four. Trevor, Trevor's default vehicle, the Canis Bodhi, is named after Bodhi Og, the son of actor Stephen Og. Oh, Aww. that's cute. That's awful nice. I, I thought it was a piece of shit truck after you, buddy. I assumed it would have been after Point Break. But anyway, number five. When the game was finally released, Og, not considering himself to be a gamer, couldn't figure out how to play it on his Xbox 360 and had to call the game's cutscene director, Rod Edge, to explain to him and his son how video games work. I'm sure that's a call Rod enjoyed getting. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, hmm, okay, so there's two thumbsticks and then an X button and A button. Man. Put the disc in. How does he have a son that doesn't know how to play video games? What world is this? What world Some are you living backwoods in? Backwoods Canadian. I guess he's Canadian, man. Man. man, I would not. Be I would awesome not peg if he had electricity. I would not peg that accent as Canadian at all. No, no. Man. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, yeah, so Trevor is a very, very interesting character in GTA Five. I hope you enjoyed this five facts. Maybe, you know, there's supposed to be more story uh, DLC for this game. Well, they're kind of like point. silent on it now. Yeah. So, so I don't know. You know yeah. what I read? What did you read? <coughs> I read uh, I read the, the other day that I think that GTA Five has now sold 54 million copies. Jesus Christ. I think that's the right figure. That's Over 50 million copies, though, which is just retarded. That is a stupid amount of yeah. copies. Well, that's awesome, and maybe they'll use that money to make some DLC featuring Stephen Ogg as Trevor. Thanks for watching.